So touch the wrench, lower left corner. Go to systems, features, guidance, and ensure that your job helper mode is set to quick start. Then move over to quick start. Select change field. The option state should be enabled and the action should be create field. Move down to job mode and the option state should be enabled. Action create job and set job name as prompt. Next we'll move over to our vehicle and then select. You should have a model of a tractor with a green check mark. If you don't have a green check mark and the proper model, follow the operator's manual for proper selection of a new tractor. Move over to the geometry. You'll be required to take the measurements indicated on the screen. These measurements are very important for turn prediction and auto section control function and timings. Move over to implement, up to select. You should again have your current profile. So that's your model of your tank, whether it's section control or not, the model of the drill, the spacing, whether it's section control or and if it's high float like in my indicator. And it should have a green check mark. If you don't have that model, follow the operator's manual for proper setup and selection of a new model. Next, we're going to move over to Cedar, up to Granular, up to Tank, and under the general settings, set a preload time of 5.0 seconds. Move down to Tank number 1. And for each of the tanks on a trailing unit, set the on time to section location at 0.8 seconds, as well as the off time to section location at 0.8 seconds. Please refer to the setup instructions and videos for sectional control timings. Move over to drive setup. And under each of the tanks, you need to enter which auger it has. This one we have high output on tank one, so on and so forth for the remaining tanks. We will now move back to operator inputs and up to keypad. We have a switch box in the tank in the cab and one on the tank. We can assign buttons to the switch boxes. For demonstration and functional test purposes, we'll assign button A to increase the tank rate, button B to decrease the tank rate, and button C to prime. The tank switch box comes default, button A enters calibration mode. We'll now move back to the geometry and for our boom one, which is full width, and then boom two, which is the section control. If you have a Borgo selected drill, our example has a 3320, 66 foot on 10 inch spacing. These measurements will all be auto populated. If you have a competitor's drill, please refer to the Borgo manual for proper instructions on how to enter new measurements. We'll move over to our section control tab, up to sections. Again, if you have a Borgo model, the Boom 2 sections will be auto-populated with the proper measurements. Go up to the section switch. Enable your virtual switch box. Timings, refer to your X30 operator's manual 
and or the Borgo videos on sectional control timings. Finally, we'll move over to product, up to granular. For a functional test, we'll need to enter two specific products. One to achieve a higher rate and one to achieve a lower rate. For our purposes, we'll enter products wheat and canola. To do so, you'd first go to new product and it enters a wizard. Touch on Borgo, hit the yellow arrow to advance. You can select the slide bar, drag it down till you'll see wheat hard red. Hit the yellow arrow. Then we're going to rename that product. For this demo we'll enter it as test. Wheat. The check mark. Advance the arrow. Hit the green check mark. Now we have our test wheat. We'll enter a product increment rate, that's the bump up or down rate, of 10 pounds per acre. And a preset one of say 120 pounds per acre. And a preset two of the fictitiously high rate of 400 pounds per acre. We're using such a high rate to test the upper limits of the metering auger system. We're now done in the setup. Touch the wrench in the lower left corner. 